The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of day. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you in our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds, and in all that we have not done. Forgive us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver and restore us that we may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are redeemed by Jesus Christ, and in him we are forgiven. Let us rest in his peace until the rising of the sun, when we shall serve him in newness of life. Amen. Psalm 93 The Lord reigns. He is clothed in majesty. The Lord is clothed. He wears strength like a belt. Yes, the world stands firm. It will not be moved. Your throne was established long ago. You are from eternity. The waves have lifted up, O Lord. The waves have lifted up their voice. The waves roar loudly. Mightier than the thundering of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your testimonies stand very firm. Holiness beautifies your house for endless days, O Lord. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Jeremiah chapter 5. Hurry here and there through the streets of Jerusalem. Look and take note. Search her public squares. See if you can find just one person who deals justly and who seeks to be faithful. If you can, I will forgive her. Though they say, as surely as the Lord lives, they are still swearing falsely. Lord, don't your eyes look for faithfulness? You struck them, but they felt no pain. You crushed them, but they refused discipline. They made their faces harder than rock and refused to repent. Then I said, These are only the poor. They are foolish because they do not know the way of the Lord and the just verdict of their God. I will go to the great men and speak to them. Certainly they know the way of the Lord, the just verdict of their God. But all of them together have broken the yoke and have torn off their chains. That is why a lion from the forest will strike them. A wolf from the desert will attack them, and a leopard is watching their cities. Everyone who comes out of them will be torn to pieces, because their rebellions are so many, and their unfaithfulness is so great. Why should I forgive you? Your children have abandoned me, and sworn by gods that are not gods. I satisfied their needs, yet they committed adultery and crowded into prostitutes' houses. They are well-fed, lusty stallions, each one neighing for his neighbor's wife. Should I not punish them for this, declares the Lord? Should I not avenge myself on a nation like this one? Go through her vineyards and destroy them, but do not destroy them completely. Cut away the branches, because they do not belong to the Lord. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have been completely unfaithful to me, declares the Lord. They have lied about the Lord. They say, He is nothing. No disaster will come upon us. We will not see sword or famine. The prophets are only wind. The word is not in them. So let what they say come upon them. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the God of armies, says. Because they have said this, I will make my words in your mouth a fire. These people are the wood, and it will burn them up. Now, O house of Israel, I am bringing against you a nation from far away, declares the Lord. I am bringing an enduring nation, an ancient nation. They are a nation whose language you do not know, nor can you understand what they say. Their quiver is like an open grave. They are all strong warriors. They will consume your harvest and your bread. They will consume your sons and daughters. They will consume your flocks and herds and they will consume your vines and fig trees. With their swords they will beat down your fortified cities, the places in which you trust. 
Yet even in those days, declares the Lord, I will not destroy you completely. When the people ask, Why has the Lord our God done this to us? Answer them, Just as you have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your own land, so now you will serve foreigners in a land that is not your own. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Matthew chapter 22. That same day, some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him. They asked him a question. Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies without having children, his brother should marry his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first one died after he married her, and since he had no children, he left his wife to his brother. It was the same with the second brother, the third and all the way to the seventh. Last of all, the woman died. So then, in the resurrection, whose wife will she be of the seven, since they all married her? You are mistaken, Jesus replied, since you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. In fact, in the resurrection, people neither marry nor are given in marriage. Instead, they are like the angels of God in heaven. And concerning the resurrection of the dead, have you never read what was spoken to you by God? I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. When the crowds heard his answer, they were amazed at his teaching. When they heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees met together. One of them, who was an expert in the law, asked him a question trying to trap him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said to him, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question. What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, Then how can David in the Spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. So if David calls him Lord, how is he his son? No one was able to answer him a word, and from that day on, no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Word of the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace, Lord, you let your servant now depart according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for every people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless us and keep us. Amen.